This is a busy area of Sheffield called Broom Hill. The coffee shop has an excellent view over the main street, so it's a perfect vantage point for sketching. I'm using my Derwent Ink Tense watercolour pencils. You can just see that I've made a very light rough sketch of the main shapes as a guide. And now I'm working back in defining things, tweaking my draftsmanship as I go. Because I'm going to add water later, I don't need to do as much shading in. So the roofs might look a bit bare and the stonework seems a bit stark at the moment. But later the water's going to soften things off when I work back into it. I don't add the water until the very end of the process as I need totally dry paper for the sketching stage. The watercolour pencils will work on damp paper but they make much bolder marks. It's, it's much too crude for this kind of a detailed drawing. I don't want to slavishly show all the detail of each shop, so I'm simplifying things. I'm looking for the main shapes, really concentrating on tones and colours to create an impression rather than something that's precise. water really intensifies the colours with intense pencils so you have to be a little bit delicate with them otherwise when you put the water on it just goes berserk. You can move the colour around with the water for a second or two and in a way it's almost like smudging pastels. I try to keep the wet marks interesting though and not to completely wipe out the drawn lines with the water. I use this sports sweat band as an alternative to a cloth. It's great for wiping my brush between colours. It's so much easier when you're out and about than having a cloth. You can see how the colours just bleed out once they're wet. That's why I like the ink tense pencils. If there's a lot of colour released onto the paper, as with this stonework, it's a really good idea to blot off the excess from the brush between strokes, as you can see I'm doing. So even though I'm not changing colour, I'm still using the sweat band for my brush. It helps to prevent the sketch from getting overloaded and it, and it keeps things under control. It's good to keep the light of the paper showing through quite a lot. You don't want everything getting muddy and overloaded. chickened out of doing the cars. If it was a different kind of drawing, something a bit more expressive, I would have had a go. But the cars have just gone too fast for any kind of detail. I've added more colour to the road now. I didn't want to use grey like actual tarmac, which I thought might look a bit dead. So I've combined a few colours to create a more colourful kind of a neutral. And here you go.